More than 3,000 students returned to class this morning at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. The Florida school has significant security upgrades for the new school year since a gunman killed 17 people in February's shooting. Changes include more surveillance cameras, a single point of entry, and more security staff. Adriana Diaz is outside the school in Parkland with why some students say the changes don't go far enough. Adriana, good morning. Good morning. There are counselors and therapy dogs here for students, and the building where the shooting occurred has been blocked off by a 12 foot fence. To make up for that classroom space, the school brought in trailers designed as portable classrooms. But despite those changes and the extra security, students we spoke to said they still don't feel safe. In the run up to the new school year, school spirit was already on full display. But Superintendent Robert Runcie acknowledged it won't be easy. It will be emotional. Uh, it will be difficult as we remember the victims, their families, faculty and staff and everyone in this entire community. Runcie says that the protected. school students are returning to will be far more secure. The number of on-campus security personnel has doubled from 9 to 18. That includes three armed school resource officers. More security cameras have been installed along with a single entry point system. Students and staff will be required to wear IDs at all times and upgrades have been made to classroom doors so they lock automatically. It doesn't make me feel safer. No, not at all. Um, I'm not going to feel safe in school. I don't feel safe anywhere at this point in my life. Senior class president Jacqueline Corn is a leader among student activists. We won't stop until this issue gets fixed. She and others spent most of the summer traveling across the country promoting gun reform and voter turnout. Until we actually remove of these weapons of war from our streets, we're not going to feel safe. Uh, you know, we can have all the security we want. We can have bulletproof backpacks for all I care. 15 year old Anthony Borges was shot five times during February's rampage. He says he's too afraid to go back to school. Why are you not going back to school? Yeah, I don't feel safe because maybe an another Nicholas Cruz there. Maybe there's another Nicholas Cruz. The people want their kids to be safe and they want their teachers safe also in the schools. Andrew Pollack lost his daughter Meadow in the attack. He believes the school board has failed students. They're really just putting a Band-Aid on the situation. The father of Anthony Borges, who was shot five times, says he won't send his son back to school until there is new leadership at the school board. As most students go back to school, the shooter, Nicholas Cruz, goes back to court. He has a hearing today that could set his trial date. Gail? Adriana, thank you. I could see why it would be very unsettling for those kids to go back. Yeah. You've got to get back in the swing of it's things. It's and their parents, right? Yes, exactly. Wishing them a very good day today.